What's up, hip-hop heads? Welcome back to another explosive episode of our channel, where we bring you the latest and greatest in the world of rap and hip-hop. Today, we're diving deep into the feud that shook the industry to its core, the epic battle between former rapper-turned-podcaster Joe Budden and his co-hosts Rory Farrell and Jamil Mal Clay. The narratives that were happening this weekend. I'm not even talking about them over there. Just the narratives that exist. Outside of maybe two or three jokes since we put our a response video out two years ago, I have not said a f***ing word. Matter of fact, if anything, I've been objective and complimentary in a lot of places. And if you look at that clip, I even said you deserve to be on that f***ing list. Oh, and by the way, I'm talking to Joe. I don't do this who we made concern and subs. You're 45. Talk to people. Don't bleep my name anymore on the podcast. Shut the f*** up. I told you the last time I saw you, leave me alone. And I have not said a f***ing word. I've been nothing but kind, polite. Anytime someone brings you up publicly, I don't say bad words. Stop talking about me. Leave me the f*** alone. It's getting obsessive. This is his third press run in two years. Mm -hmm. And this last one, his whole press run was trying to tell people that he does not talk about us. Your press run was talking about us saying you don't talk about us. You just went on your third <laughs> press run. In two years, I have not been on one press run talking about you. I did my response video, and I left it the fuck alone. You did. Don't talk about lists, right? <laughs> you should shut the fuck up if you're not on the list to talk about a list, right? Your YouTube popped from you talking about a list you weren't on. And we know how that ended. My arms are just tired. <laughs> I, need, I need a mic stand. <laughs> like, I don't know about you, but like, yes, we have mic stands, but I, like, mm -hmm. I think we need more mic stands. We know we need like 10 more mic stands. Yeah, no, I understand. Just, just get a few more mic stands in here. Should have kept your library card. Yeah, that's, that's what I should have did. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you addressed that. No, it's not even like, I and just, I, I may even sound <clears throat> frustrated and upset, and I'm totally cool with sounding that way. Because I really have been quiet about this entire shit. That's what's making it even cornier. Like this started with you yelling at an empty chair <laughs> that I shouldn't come to your son's birth after there's a full episode of you talking about how much that meant to you. One story has not changed at all. One continues to change. I never took it personal. I never said wild shit. I never even went in on your business. I left it alone after that response video. So leave me the f*** alone. And had, had we not spoken about that, we would have been hating. That's where you now can't that, win. Now that we spoke about it, we hating. I don't hate nobody. I don't pay attention to niggas enough to hate niggas. <laughs> like, that's, the, that's why I hate when I get dragged, drug into this shit. Because it's like, I don't care about none of these dudes, man. Respect and love to all of y'all. I'm just saying facts are facts. To be That's honest, it. Let's deal with the facts. But we're not mad. Rory and I are happy. Our staff is happy. Everybody's having a great time. We have mic stands. <laughs> we have mic stands. We have equipment. Like, I don't want people to think that we don't have these. These are all like false, just moving the goalposts. Like, cut it out, man. With the stop, bro. You're not the nigga that know. You're not the the the, the master of podcasting. I know niggas you call you the pod father and you let that circle. You when you came on yourself, combat no combat. Jack yeah, called like, himself that, and then he passed away, and then you started. Yeah, like stop you it yourself with that. that, man. Cut it out. It's corny, bro. Like it's no. This is corny. I got to take seven showers a day now because my name is next to yours in the mud. Like you know what I mean? I don't want to do this, shit, man. Like look what y'all got me doing. The same thing I said to Joe and everyone else. Leave me alone. Don't talk about me. I don't talk about y'all. Leave me the alone i know we're creating content people of pod wars all this shit. i'm talking just to y'all in real life it just happens to be on a podcast this is not a war or a back and forth shut up i'm gonna shut up and we can all move the on and do whatever we want with our lives let the fans talk all day but y'all shut up shut up i'm going to do the same shut up my my arm is still tired <laughs> <laughs> I do want to move on. I will stick to my side of that. If if everyone relaxes, 
Because if I wanted to get froggy, not talking about anything with physical violence, talking about other things, things in the bookstore, things on the first page of the book, I could. And I never wanted to. So everyone just relax and enjoy their lives and leave me the fuck alone. And we can move on to other, other topics. Yeah. In recent months, the hip hop community has been buzzing with news about a list complex published ranking the most influential hip hop broadcasters. To the surprise of many, Joe Budden, a former rapper turned podcaster, was ranked number one. However, what followed next was even more surprising. Budden's co-hosts on the Joe Budden podcast, Rory Farrell and Jamil Mal Clay, took issue with the list, and their reaction sparked a public feud with Budden that has only escalated since. It all started when Rory and Mal expressed their surprise at Joe's ranking on the list during an episode of their podcast. They believed that Joe was given too much credit for his contributions to hip-hop culture, and that other broadcasters, such as Charlemagne Thaw God, deserved the top spot. Joe, however, seemed to take their criticism personally and began sneak dissing them on his podcast. The feud between the three hosts continued to escalate with Joe Budden continually sneak dissing Rory and Mal on his show. The tension reached a boiling point when Joe branded the Rory and Mal podcast as the bare minimum boys. Rory and Mal were understandably hurt by this and took to their podcast to express their disappointment. They also recorded a podcast episode in which they responded to Joe's sneak disses and explained their side of the story. In their response, Rory and Mal made it clear that they had no issue with Joe being ranked number one on the list. Their problem was with the way he had been acting since then, specifically his tendency to belittle their contributions to the podcast and hip-hop culture as a whole. Rory and Mal argued that they had been instrumental in making the Joe Budden podcast a success, and that they deserved more recognition for their contributions. They also pointed out that Joe had a history of treating people poorly, both on and off the show, and that his behavior was not new. The response from Joe Budden was swift and aggressive. He went on his podcast and accused Rory and Mal of being ungrateful and trying to leverage their success on the show for personal gain. He also accused them of being disloyal and claimed that they were trying to take over his show, Joe's response only served to further inflame the feud, with fans of the show taking sides and adding fuel to the fire on social media. The situation became so contentious that it ultimately led to the end of the Joe Budden podcast, as it was known. In the aftermath of the feud, Rory and Mal have gone on to start their own podcast, New Rory and Mal, which has been met with critical acclaim. They have also been open about their experiences on the Joe Budden podcast and have used their platform to shed light on the importance of respecting one's colleagues and treating people with kindness. The feud between Joe Budden, Rory Farrell, and Jamil Mal Clay is a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked ego and pride. It serves as a reminder that success is a team effort and that no one person can take credit for the accomplishments of a group. In conclusion, the feud between Joe Budden, Rory Farrell, and Jamil Mal Clay was a highly publicized and controversial event that highlighted the importance of respect and humility in the hip-hop industry. While the situation ultimately led to the end of the Joe Budden podcast, it also gave rise to new opportunities for Rory and Mal and underscored the need for teamwork and collaboration in any successful venture. As the hip-hop industry continues to evolve and change, it is essential that those within it remember the lessons learned from this feud and work towards building a more inclusive and supportive community. And that's a wrap, folks. What a wild ride that was. The feud between Joe Budden, Rory Farrell, and Jamil Mal Clay was nothing short of explosive, with emotions running high and egos clashing in a battle for supremacy. While the feud ultimately led to the end of the Joe Budden podcast, it also gave rise to new opportunities for Rory and Mal, who have continued to make waves in the industry with their new podcast. So, what can we learn from this epic battle? Well, the importance of respect, teamwork, and collaboration cannot be overstated, and it's crucial to remember that success is a group effort.